It's the most entertaining, longest reigning YouTube channel at Death Frontier History with your hosts. The man that runs the show, the man that everybody knows, the man that's right here in the flesh, the man that is the very best. Therapist Tom Pickett's about to go down right here, right now. It's champion. What's going on, everyone? Happy Tuesday. And today, during this video, I'm going to do an X Grand review. This is my first review with the X Dust weapon, or X weapon, I should say, not dust, but. X weapon so I'm really thrilled to be making this video for you guys today I never tested this X grand out so this will be my first time using it live on video so you guys will be hearing my reaction and at the same time you guys will be re uh, reacting to it as you're watching the video a couple things I want to talk about before I dive into this video though first things first I don't plan on having any implants on so I'll have a 45% damage boost which is my clan boost and the ultra boost the reason why i'm doing this is because i understand the majority of you guys can't afford all the implants in the game which is understandable they're pretty expensive and i want to make a video based on the majority of community what you guys could work with if you guys you know get the x grand rather than just a small portion of the community that are in my shoes to actually have all the implants in the game so i'll be sure to be you know taking all my implants off making it you know a more accurate review for you guys so you guys can actually relate to this video because i'm sure you guys want the x grand one day all you guys have to do is go out and loot the parts and another thing i want to talk about is a giveaway that i'm gonna have during this video i was debating whether to have it this video or a future video but i've been holding back on this giveaway for a while i keep forgetting about it but this guy hit me up on discord the other day he was like, yo, champion, did he do the giveaway yet? What's going on with it? And I was like, oh, man, I forgot. So this guy named Maximum Insult 101 sent me a Mastercrafted Junker 6 to give out to one of you guys. So the Mastercraft is, Mastercraft is 7, 7, 5. So 7 accuracy, 7 reloading, and uh, 5 critical hit. So one of you guys, I'll be drawing it out, you know, at random. I'll give you guys like 3 to 5 days to drop your ID or IGN and I'll draw the winner that way and like I told you guys like a couple months ago this is a platform not only for me but for all you guys to give back to the community as well so if you got if you want me to ever like give out an item of your choosing you know just send it over to me and you know if it's valuable enough I'll give you a shout out like I'm not going to give you a shout out if you're going to send me like a 50k to 100k weapon like I'll be thankful for it but if you keep you know giving back to me or not giving back to me but giving back to the community I'll give you a shout out for sure and I'm just really excited to be giving out this Joker 6 and just excited that I have this platform to you know give give back to the community and other people can do that you know as well like I'm, I'm making these videos not just for me but for all you guys to give back as well so yeah that sums all that up and shout out to Esham as well my clan mate hooked me up with this X Garand so if you guys get a hold of any X weapons feel free to send them over to me I'll make a video about it I'll give you a shout out and you know I'll thank you live on video and you guys will get you know more re uh, reviews of these weapons so my goal is to get like a review of each of these X weapons one by one so this is my first review like I said and making sure I didn't skip anything no I did not so the first thing I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna do the PvP aspect Esham is actually gonna be the guy testing it out with me so I'm gonna test it out with the long shot first then the X grand second and yeah go from there so let's get it Alright, so as you can see now, I'm currently out in the inner city. I did turn my sound to a little bit of a quarter way. I'll turn it up a little bit more because I want you guys to, you know, hear the sound of the rifle as well. Let's not forget the s also takes 7.5 ammo. But before I dive into the PvP, I forgot to go over one thing, which is the wiki. So here's the x -Garand. Here's the long shot. I'm going to just quickly go over the difference. So the x -Garand is 24 rounds per clip. Long shot is 20. X Garand requires 7.5 rifle ammo. Uh, long shots 14 mm rifle ammo, and the high critical chance. So the X Garand has a high critical chance, and the long shot has a very high critical chance. So I'm gonna go over stats and levels for you guys. I'm gonna scroll down to critical chance, and as you can see, 
you need 112 critical hit points in order to get the full effect of the Excoran. So if you guys get the Excoran, make sure you have 112 critical hit points. If you have the long shot, all you need is 80 critical hit points. So that's all for both of those rifles. But besides that, everything is similar. They both should do you know a lot of similarities in ter terms of damage and what they do out in the inner city. So I'm just expecting them to be equal in terms of everything. So we'll see what happens. And here we go. I'm going to test the long shot first. And I'm going to do the Escaran second. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so I hit Ishan five times and he died. I also told him to count how many times that I hit him on his screen because of sync. So sometimes I'll be able to land more shots on him without even realizing it or, or less shots on him without even realizing it. So there you have it. There's the long shot. Um, it's review test. So the next thing up is the ex Garan. And he just messaged me saying six hits. So six hits. And I didn't even see how many hits I did during the video. I wasn't even counting, I don't think. Maybe I did. I just forgot the number. But yeah, I'll tell you guys after Isho comes over with the X. I mean, no, Isho comes over again and I shoot him with the X Grand. So here we go. All right, so on my screen, I actually hit him five times with the long shot. But on his screen, I hit him six times. So six times with the long shot. As you can see, I have 18 rounds of the Excar Ram because we tested it out, but something went wrong, so I'm gonna have to redo it again with them. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six shots on my screen. Chances are it's five shots on his screen. So it does the exact same damage as the long shot. I mean, we all expected that. I called that out for you guys. This is equivalent to the long shot and the sound is actually different than the long shot I actually like the sound of the Excaran better than the long shot it sounds like a machine gun but it's like shooting really slow but Isham actually said six with the Excaran so five with the crit do a fist shot crit broken so it's actually six on his screen so the long shot actually did one shot less than the Excaran, but the thing is, I actually didn't crit him with the Excaran. If I would have landed a crit shot on him, it would have been uh, five shots, just like the long shot. So there you have it. There's the review in regards to PvP. Time to test this out in the inner city. All right, so right now, one off from the inner city. I'm gonna just test this out really quickly for you guys. So two hits on a tendril. I'm gonna shoot the long shot as well, but I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna shoot the Excaran a little bit more because that's what everybody wants to see. And right now it seems to be one and two hit in the basic zombies, which is pretty much, you know, what we all expected. Two hits on the tendril though is pretty impressive. One hit there. Like I stated during the PvP uh, sequence, critical shots are a factor. So if you land your critical hits with the Esperan, chances are you're going to just be one hit in everything, mostly everything. So I got hit there because I was a little bit too close to an exploder. So the Escaran, it's really showing the similarities to the long shot in terms of the DPS. It's just taking everything out, one hit and everything. And this is just a great substitute for the long shot PP10. If you guys can't afford the long shot PP10, all you gotta do is just loot the parts, get the Escaran that way. Obviously the parts are pretty difficult to loot along with getting the Devil's Hearts as well. But in the end, with how powerful this rifle is, it's gonna be worth it. So the s Grand is literally one hit and two hit and everything. Even a spider, one hit and a spider. And let it be known, I only have a 45% damage boost. I do not have the implants on it, as I stated in the beginning of the video. So I'm gonna switch to the long shot real quick. I swear, I like the sound of the Escaran better, like, a 1 and 2 hit and everything with the long shot, but I don't know, just something with the Escaran that I just like better with it. The only thing I don't like is the 7.5 ammo, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do there if I do get myself an Escaran, but the long shot is 1 hit and everything, obviously it's the same DPS, I do want to... Uh, shoot a leaper with the Escaran as well. 
So shoot this for a couple seconds more for you guys. So it's literally the same thing. And like I said, it really depends on the crush shots. If you land a crush shot, it's going to be one hit. If you don't land a critical shot, it's going to be two hits. So I'm going to look for a leap right now. Shoot that with the Escaran. And there you go. One shot's a leaper. That's pretty crazy. So this rifle, I'm excited about it. These X weapons in general are just really powerful. This is why I really want to do a review uh, in terms of all these X weapons for you guys. Just to show you how powerful these weapons are. And to let you guys know, I mean, you guys are going to have to get your hands on these weapons, man. Go out of your ways. Kill the Devil Hound. Loot them parts. And this is a great alternative method for those that can't get you know the extra shot for those that can't win weekly pvk for those that can't win weekly ps and for those that can't get level 325 obviously i'm getting hit right now because i'm using an Grand in the open with all these uh zombies coming after me so obviously i should have switched to the rage cannon but this is an x grand review but yeah like i said uh, don't even have to worry about X dust anymore. It's all about the X weapons right now. So I'll test this out for like a minute or two with you guys, and then I'll say a couple things further and close out the video with that. So right now, this you know the Grand is just really fun to use. I don't just say Grand; it's the X Grand is just more easier. But the Grand is definitely really fun to use. One shot and two shot and everything. Great for looting. Obviously with the crowd of aggro, it's really not too useful because you're just really killing one zombie at a time. It's just going to take a while, but the fact that one hit and everything and the critical hit, uh, like I stated, I got the proper critical hit for it. It's 113, I think I told you guys, so just rewind the video and look at the part where I go over the stats with you guys in terms of critical hit. Make sure you have the right critical hit for this weapon. And this rifle is just really fun to use. I really like, you know, the looks of it too. I really like the skin, that camo green military skin. It looks pretty cool. I love the design. I actually like the design on the S Grand better than the long shot. Let me switch to the long shot just to compare. And I mean, they're both pretty good looking rifles. I don't know. I just like the X Grand in terms of the looks better. That's just me. It's all about preference. I mean, I like the Grand better in terms of looks. But let me know what you guys think about the Escaran during this video. Do you like the review I gave to you guys? Uh, you know, are you trying to get the Escaran? Like, I told you guys during a couple videos ago, uh, just let me know what X weapon you plan on getting first. I'm sure a lot of you guys might go for the rifle first because, you know, that's just the main thing in terms of, you know, comparing it to the long shot. Because the long shot is pretty expensive, it is dropping on the marketplace it's around like 100 mil now i think 90 to 100 mil so the escaran is definitely the gun that everybody wants to get and let it be known you need three devil hearts for the escaran not five some people actually thought you needed five devil's hearts for the escaran but you need three parts and you need the blueprints and you need uh five parts as well and once you get all that you should be able to craft it and you need the Grand itself, the weapons, that should be the easiest part, so just buy that out at the marketplace and once you do that, you need 2 million to craft and you'll be set. So there you have it, there's the X Grand review, and I'm going to go back to Outpost and just close out the video for you guys. And like I said, let me know what you think about this review, I'm going to leave this a pause, and here we go. Alright, so I'm back into the outpost. A couple of things I want to go over, like I told you guys. Shout out to Esham and Maximum Insult 101 once again. Esham for lending me the Escaran to borrow during this video. And Maximum Insult 101 for giving me a Junker 6 to give away to all of you guys. So like I said, be sure to drop your ID in IGN to qualify for a chance to win the Junker 6. I'm saying that once again for you guys. I said it during the beginning of the video as well, but I wanna make sure you guys drop your ID. I'll put it underneath the description as well. So there's gonna be plenty of chances. You guys can't miss, miss out on that giveaway. And 
I'm going to show you guys the Discord really quickly. 189 members in my Discord. The reason why I'm showing you guys the Discord is because I want you guys to know, like, for those that don't read the description, this is the YouTube channel Discord. A lot of people go on here. I go on here every day. I actually go on voice chat every single day. So if you want to have a chance to talk to me, get to know me, I get to know you. I can maybe help you out in terms of giving you tips and tactics in terms of getting better at the game. And, you know, it's just all nothing but fun and just us just interacting and growing the, you know, the YouTube channel outside of YouTube. So Discord and, you know, Twitter, my Patreon. And speaking of Patreon, I pulled that up for you guys. So I got somebody that donated and he donated a dollar, which gives him, you know, access to special giveaways. I went over the Patreon for you guys a long time ago. I'm still going to. Be strong about this Patreon in terms of keeping it running, making sure you know this Patreon is becoming a success. And not many people donated that much because of Death Frontier 2, but I'm gonna see if I can start it back up again just because people are asking me about it. And I just figured to just show it to you guys during this video. So if you donate, it's going to a good cause, helping out the channel. And in exchange, I get to help you guys out in terms of all these benefits you guys get. The depending on how much you guys want to donate so there you have it i appreciate all the love guys i pretty sure i went over everything for you guys today so my discord my patreon and the escalator review so give me guys your feedback let me guys know let me know what you guys think i should say let me know what you guys think about the review and I hope you guys join the Discord. That's the thing I'm looking forward to the most, just interacting with you guys, getting to know you guys better. So remember, check out my Discord. I'm sure you guys will love it there. And I'm just happy we're able to expand beyond this YouTube channel, like I stated. And that's that, guys. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.